This is the second of two videos that shows you how to use MS Word tools effectively to help you format and lay out your thesis professionally, and also explains why it is necessary to do so. In this video, we will look at setting up a page layout that can work across your document to help you avoid having different kinds of spacing between paragraphs and headings, and also how and where to assign page and section breaks. To begin, think about your thesis as a whole for a minute, even if you have only just started. When it is finished, it will be around 250 to 300 pages long. This is a lot of typing and a lot of reading for your examiners and supervisors. Research has shown that having more white space around headings and spaces between lines makes that amount of reading much easier on the eyes. Thus, we are going to suggest a way to set up a template for your thesis that will save you a lot of time, minimize spacing inconsistencies, and create more white space so that your text is less overwhelming on the eyes of your readers. You need to start by finding the Format tab and clicking on it. Then click on Paragraph and this box will appear. You start by changing your alignment to Justified. This will align your text with both of the margins instead of just the left-hand margin. Keep the outline level at body text as this is the normal text you type in. If you would like each first line of the par each paragraph to be indented, you can click first line over here under special and make sure that by is set at 1.27 centimeters, which is standard or default setting. Here, under spacing, if you're going to be using 1.5 line spacing, we would recommend that you use six points before and after. If you're going to double space your document, you need to use 12 points before and after so that the spaces between your paragraphs actually communicate that these are different paragraphs instead of just one long paragraph. You should then click Add a space. Don't add a space between the paragraphs to make sure that there are no spaces between your paragraphs. And then click OK. Now, when you start typing, combined with the learning from the video of headings, you should have a much neater document with less time spent trying to do all of this fiddly work manually. And as you start typing, this format will kick in and apply. To further save you time, effort, and increase the professionalism of your thesis presentation, you can learn to assign page and section breaks. Page breaks are used to start new chapters, for example. Each part of your thesis, from the title page to the abstract, the table of contents, and then to your chapters, should start on a fresh page. To ensure that these pages remain stable, even with editing, so you don't, for example, have a chapter starting halfway down the next page, you assign a page break. You're going to do this by going to Insert, and then clicking on Break, and then clicking on Page Break. The cursor will then jump down to a new page, and this will always be the start of that section. For example, you can assign this to section Abstract, give it a heading level 1, and your abstract will always start on this page, even if you edit the section preceding your abstract. Section breaks should be used sparingly. Usually you only would need one in the average thesis, and this would be between the preliminary sections and the chapters. Your preliminary sections would be your acknowledgements, your abstract, your title page, your table of contents, any glossaries or lists of tables and figures you may have, any plagiarism declara declaration, anything that is not the main body of your text or your chapters. This would enable you, having a section break between the two, to assign Roman numerals like 1, 2, and so on to the preliminary sections of your thesis and Arabic numerals, your regular 1, 2, 3, to the main body of your thesis. So, imagine this is the final page of your preliminary section and you want to assert, insert a section break so that you can move on to the main body of your text. Again, you go to Insert, Break, but here you click on Section Break, Next Page. Again, the cursor will jump down and start a new page. But this time, the break will be a bigger break than a page break and will enable you to assign the different page numbers, which again, you will go to Insert and down to Page Numbers, and then you'll set up your page numbers accordingly. You if you want to change the format, you simply go here to Format, and you either choose Arabic numerals or Roman numerals. 
If you are ever concerned that you've put a break in the wrong place or you want to delete the break, click on this key over here. This will reveal the formatting, show you where your page and section breaks are, and enable you to delete them. Like so. Again, these are just tools to save you time, effort, and frustration as you create a document as significant in scope and size as a postgraduate thesis. They cannot do more than just help you out. But if you learn to use them well, they can assist you in presenting your thesis in the best possible way. A document that is well laid out and shows that care and attention have been paid to making it neat, professional, and readable makes a strong impression on an examiner and indicates the seriousness and care with which you approach your work. Taking the time to learn how to use these tools and applying them to setting out and creating your own thesis will pay off once that thesis reaches your examiner. So it is well worth the effort now.